In this video, I'm going to share with you a interesting little different type of blitzing concept that you can use to kind of manipulate a blocked running back, specifically out of Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. My channel is focused on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become, whether it be through tips and tricks like this or through my offensive and defensive guides that I release uh, a lot on the YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss any of these new videos. And if you want to get this entire nickel 335 odd defense, I believe it's the best defense in the entire game, is able to lock down pretty much every meta offense that you're going to see uh, and as about as good as you possibly can. And it's able to bring the best type of pressure concepts that I've seen up to this point in the season. So if you want to get this entire 335 odd defensive guide, I would encourage you to pick it up down in the description. It's just it's on sale for just $15. If you head down to the description, there's going to be a link to the website where you can go pick it up uh, for 15 bucks. And again, just quick disclaimer, as Madden 22 releases new patches in the beginning of the year, new things start to come out, different things we need to adjust to, we will be updating that defensive guide as well. Make sure you have always have the most up-to-date coverage schemes and the most up-to-date cover or uh, pressure schemes. We've already updated it several times over the course of the first week, and we're going to con continue to do that um, throughout the life of the defensive guide. That being said, I want to show you a really fun little concept that you can use to really manipulate uh, a blocked running back this year out of Gun Bunch, and it's, it's honestly a lot of fun. So we're just going to play uh, Pick This Play, Tight End Hook, and first things first, I just want to show you the kind of the base five-man rush here. So you see here, um, I'm just going to drop that linebacker out in the purple, and I'm just going to spread my line and crash my line down probably seven times to make sure it registers, and uh, what you'll see here is it's a blocked running back. Sometimes you'll get that looper to come through the A-gap, probably about 75% of the time um, that looper will be able to work for you to be able to come through that A-gap. But if that running back picks them up, you see, there we go, the pressure's picked up, and now I have plenty of time to be able to throw an interception. Um, so my question uh, kind of has become, you know, are there some ways that we can kind of manipulate um, a running back or even not a running back with less people blitzing? And the answer to that is certainly yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to spread our line. We're going to crash our line down. And then what I like to do is obviously I'm going to zone out that linebacker. But now what you're going to see is I'm actually going to take this safety. And I'm going to put him on a blitz. And I'm just going to move him out here just like that. And then from there, I'm going to just simply drop this guy um, into a coverage of whatever I want. And what you're going to see here is this is going to really clean up this left side pressure. So it's a five-man blitz. But we're blitzing the safety from depth, and I want you to watch kind of this interaction that we're going to get on this left side of the screen. So at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is you're going to get screaming edge heat from that offensive lineman. And in fact, that tackle is actually going to focus more on the safety blitzing than he will um, on the tackle on that side of the field. So my question is, well, okay, can we take this concept a little bit further? And how does this work against a blocked running back? So I'm gonna block my running back here. I've got my two guys in zones. So there you see there's the setup. And what you're gonna see against that blocked running back is you'll see that that blocked running back will kind of glitch out as well. In fact, he does in this example pick this up, but I found that a lot of the time he actually won't. Um, in fact, you'll be able to get a lot of really clean pressure uh, just by blitzing the safety. Now, I'm not even gonna move the safety here. I just wanna show you an example. This is what happens when I don't move the safety. You see that it pretty much picks me up. The reason why is because of the angle of the of the safety's blitz. The blitz angle that he's on, we have to actually move him a little bit. So what you're going to see here, and I'm already you know kind of committed to moving my safeties down anyway, but I'm just going to move him down. And I, you see here, I'm just going to want him to be like right there, okay, just like that. And then you know we're just going to set up our blitz. And you see here, here's the setup. And now blocked running back. And what you should see is there it is, kind of looping around off the edge. Now, if we want to basically get the safety or the running back to completely dumb out and get this pressure to come in, all we have to do is use her this linebacker right over here. So you're gonna see we're gonna set that pressure up just like we've been, and then we're just gonna grab this linebacker and kind of user him right in this little pocket. We can drop zone off that right edge so we can have you know, four people in coverage to that side. And then if they block the running back, you'll see here, we're still gonna be able to get this pressure. So I'm just gonna run this guy around. 
and you'll see that time actually got picked up fairly well but the idea is essentially to you know essentially and you, I think I need to be a little bit more closer but anyways let me just show you so again you're just gonna bring this guy blitz in from depth and if you wanted to you could honestly use your that safety but you do something like that so same setup we crashed our line down and now blocked running back snap of the ball and you see that he goes to the middle of the field that's kind of the that's kind of the point because the reason he's going to the middle of the field is because that's where your user rush is coming and because we're manipulating this side and i like to keep this guy a little bit deeper off no one is expecting that safety to blitz no one is expecting that safety to blitz so when we send the safety you'll see here just kind of turn my hips inside and worst case scenario that safety will come in um, and kind of clean everything up for you but honestly people will literally read this as a coverage they don't see that the safety is actually you know kind of blitz right off the a gap there so they're going to see it as coverage which is super super critical and there you see the kind of swap exchange and we get that running back to have to stay in the middle of the field so that's kind of the concept uh, from this and we can actually expand on this a little bit more um, essentially by doing this we're just going to bring him outside and actually we're going to bring him kind of bound down right about in here uh, and you can get him a little bit closer and really play with the depth of this but what I like what this does is if I go to max protect now out of this gun bunch you're going to see this is going to be some interesting pressure we're going to create and as you see we absolutely scream at the max protect so the max protect of the gun bunch is not going to stop this blitz from depth kind of concept. So if you're getting a lot of max protect, maybe they're trying to pick up your two man pressure out of the 335 odd, then you can do this concept. And as you can see here, the safety will come around or the defensive end. Typically, the defensive end comes in uh, completely untouched almost every single time. So this is just another way that you can kind of create some pressure. Uh, from just kind of some unique types of concepts in this year's game and really blitzing from depth I think is really something that is very underrated this year because if, from the looks of things in terms of what they're actually going to see what the quarterback's going to see as he's dropping back it doesn't always look like they're blitzing it might just look like they're in a zone or whatever and so then you know you get a blocked running back they're looking like that and you see you know the pressure can kind of loop in off the edge so this is just kind of a unique little blitzing concept that i really like out of the 335 odd i specifically like this again if they're running a lot of max protect so if i'm getting a lot of max protect i'll bring this guy down and this time i'm going to blitz him off the edge like we thought we talked about then i kind of set my play up as is and as you see we absolutely scream at the uh the, the offense so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to get my nickel 335 odd defensive guide, I think it's the best defense in the entire game. It sends the best pressure. And it also, we've actually updated it lately with a couple different coverage concepts that are very effective against a lot of the meta offenses that we're starting to see in competitive Madden. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get that 335 odd defense and start locking people down, there's going to be a link in the description of this video, and you can get that defensive guide for just 15 bucks. Uh, again, just head down to the description, click that link. It'll take you over to the website and it'll get you all squared away. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get that guide, link in the description.